this is me taking a relaxing stroll in Utrecht. I'm not at all in a hurry, but I'm still powering ahead. If you're bored from your treadmill in a boring fitness studio, why don't you take it out? I picked up my Lopifit walking bike a few hours earlier. Rob von Oyen works for the manufacturer and showed me how it functions before I set out on my maiden voyage. Treading sets the bike in motion, but you're assisted by an electric motor. Why don't you just go out and take a walk? This is a bike we go faster. It's 25 kilometers in an hour, so you get more distance in, with the Lobifit. It's more interesting than like normal walking. The bike first hit the streets in 2014, and now it's taking off internationally, with a growing ridership in Europe, the US and South America. An American skateboarder and TV personality posted a video of the bike on his Facebook page. It's been viewed over 18 million times. Since then, it's become a runaway success, even in Qatar. Perhaps because regular cycling can be difficult in a row, but with a lobby foot, anything goes. The Dutch manufacturer is finding it hard to meet demand. Yes, we have some problems. Well, we start producing at this moment, so we, we, we were not ready to sell it. Uh, that was the reason that, yeah, we, we, we get a lot of requests, but we are still producing. Well, if everyone else can do it, so can I, right? In a study, they found that 30% get into gear immediately, while 10% have major difficulties getting off to a smooth start. I'm with the 60% who need a few minutes. I have to practice. It's different than I thought, a lot faster. So, I've planned a full day tour of the city. You don't need a license to drive a lobby foot, and helmets are not mandatory. While practicing on a country road, I find I can stop walking and still keep moving. Then it's back to the city. I want to try out my newly acquired riding skills in downtown Utrecht. The Dutch are known as a nation of cyclists, but they clearly not used to seeing a lobby fed on the street, so I find myself turning quite a few hats. After a while, I really get the hang of it, but I'm still drawing attention. I overtake most cyclists with ease, although I'm hardly making an effort at all. Then a few brave souls ask if they can have a go. Don't worry, it's not dangerous. As interest grows, I let more people have a go. Even women in high heels. Locals and tourists alike are keen to jump on board. And it's two different motions. It's a bit like doing... <laughs> yes, yeah. but it's nice. <laughs> it's nice to walk on a bike. It's really good. It's, it's really fast. And it's more difficult than I thought. It's a little bit complicated. Yeah, it takes some practice, but I certainly wouldn't be able to enjoy my ice cream as much on a normal bike. This was possibly the fastest and in the same time the most comfortable walk of my life. It was really big fun. Still, even with all the interest it's awakened, it's hard to imagine the Lopifit replacing the enduringly popular bicycle on the streets of the Netherlands. 